Dude, if I was sitting over there on Wilson Avenue every morning, oh my god, I would be fucking terrorizing you motherfuckers. But you're not going to be a weak motherfucker. Yeah, I don't know. I don't understand. 206 is alright, but I'll never understand why he associates with 127 like that. Because he's a weak bitch. Shut up, CK. Shut your head. Uh, Aaron just texted me again, man. Boy, I got a lot of possibilities. It ain't like the old days. You can't go around cracking people anymore, man. That's it. You end up in the middle of the fucking crackhead. You was the first motherfucker. I think he's more, his feelings are hurt, he's just pissed off. I don't think he'll try anything stupid. Look at this. Shit. You fucking punch you. Ah, it's too bad, you know. I like the guy I worked with him before. I got nothing against him. I just, I just think he goes about shit the wrong way, you know what I mean? Oh, definitely, I agree, you know. He was setting his own self up for the problems. Yeah. He said Richie got his dick all up in 206's ass, and he said, Richie, don't forget to scratch, Richie. Are you talking about 206? I thought you were a bit of attention. <laughs> wow. When you want to know how to die out here? Yeah, man, I think you like it fucking works. What the hell is going on out here on the Jersey side? You know, what the hell is going on out here on the Jersey side? 631-BTK around Patterson. What's going on out here on the Jersey side, I want to know? There's two of them. Richie said he got his dick all up inside 206's ass, and the only thing that 206 can say is 10 fair. Somebody 
your mouth, and I'm snatching that video, Tenster. Came and you made your own fucking name, Tenster. I ain't ghost talking.
He wants an Afro check, meaning he wants to know if any Africans are sleeping in his mother's bed today. <laughs> Hey driver, I'm trying to get an afro check and I ain't gonna shut up until I get one. So why don't you cooperate? Just tell him, yeah, he's right. They got a couple of American Africans sleeping in his mother's bed. We checked him. <laughs> with his mother. Tell him, just tell him the truth. They know he got there and they trying to help him. Yeah, they're swinging. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're having a good time. <laughs> nah, he was telling you I was keying up on you. What a fucking junk. Where's his mother? Go check 206. Look, man, you just gotta be my receipt. 206 got an afro behind his ass with Richie Dick all up in it. How about an afro check? What you do that? I hear the ammo shakes in bed with your mother. He already knows that. You try to do that with enforcer, you bitch. Huh? But that don't get to me, though. That ain't important. Ten third. I'm swinging my ball for over here. Don't worry, ten third catch it. I just need an afro check and maybe a ball throw pick. Swinger, bro, I think you need to pick it. Don't say that too loud. A61, don't say it too loud, because then 206 is going to bend over and let out his afro. Oh, fuck. 10 4 kiss your ass, too. God damn it. Dude, I can't, I can't win out here. He kisses your ass, too. You ain't got to worry about that. Dude, I just wish you would fucking fuck with 127 instead of being his friend. That's all I want. Yo, CK sounds like you don't make the protection. shit on each other. Who is he hiding from? They got shit on each other. They know each other. Yeah, because Richie got his dick all up in 206's ass, and all 206 can say, 10 4, 10 4, put the score check, Richie. Put the time check, 10 4. Dude, dude, 206 is in the perfect spot to fuck with Richie. I wish Nicky Boss was out here. He know the deal, too, on this side. That sucks, I don't know, whatever. And they were spooling, they were spooling, because Richie said they were spooling, he had his dick all up in 206's ass. Yo, 3-1, you remember when he got kicked off from Moe Dropper because he was kissing Richie ass? When Nicky Box kicked him, he kicked him off from Moe Droppers because he was associating with Richie. Yep. That's their history, he's a bitch. He's a fucking bitch, and you never, and you can't change that, you can sir. Well, you know the deal with the fucking RDX guys in 127, you know? I got nothing against 206, I just don't understand why he's not fucking with that guy instead of being his friend. Well, you gonna find out more since you came back out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I know, I know. It's a little disappointing, but whatever, man. Everybody, just do what the fuck you want out here. We're all here for fun. That's what happens when you blow kiss ass. Is everybody having fun yet? Stock mics and working on red. All that shit over fucking junk equipment. And now let's not talk about the, you know, giving Richie drugs and they both fucking smoking. I remember 206 first came out there when he got in Triple Six's truck. Triple Six had me tune a radio for him. Check this out. He talks about he been on the radio like 15 years. Um, I don't know. I don't know, dude. <laughs> I honestly don't give a fuck. I'm just
just trying to have fun. No, I don't. Just want to have fun. He wanted to be a RDX, poppy in the horn. I remember they was cracking on him on that. No, I, I need that radio with the horn for him. That's his horn, man. It's like, it's like a soap pop up. I just, I remember what I was hearing back then. Yeah, I hear you, I hear you. I'm just a little disappointed, that's all. I, I mean, I'm not going to say nothing bad about nobody. I'm just disappointed. It's like when your parents tell you that they're disappointed. That's like worse than anything. But see, yo, even me and you went back and forth with the jokes and hacking, right? But you ain't never kissed two of you, you ain't never kissed what you said. Boy, trying to campaign. Oh, hell no. I remember I used to drive through Manhattan. You had some recording of me talking about some gay shit. You used to play that. I thought it was fucking hilarious, bro. <laughs> yeah, you didn't take it personal. Yeah, what's going on, man? Then when I, I finally looked at your YouTube, I see that you do jackass. You do pranks. With truck drivers and shit. I, I'm like, oh, all right, he played like that. You ain't take it serious. That's what I'm saying, man. I'm out here to have fun, you know what I mean? When shit gets too personal, when people start squabbling like fucking crazy every day, I'm out, man. I shut my radio off for two years. You gotta have fun, man. You gotta enjoy the radio. That's See, that's what we was doing, but these motherfuckers like Richie and fucking faggot ass uh, Pellegrino non action. They want to go into people's call signs and send fucking ACS to people's cribs and fucking subscription magazines. Well, that is pretty funny, but, uh, I don't know. That's like, that's the extreme end of what we do out here, you know? That's not everyday shit. That's like, that's like when people get swatted. I'm, and I know what you know that means. With the PC and the gaming, the hardcore gaming and all that. When they get their ass kicked on a game. Yeah, I hear you. That's what Pellegrino did to my cousin 9-11. He sent fucking ACS because of the call sign. He sent AC to him and Richie. Him and Richie did that because his own video with them bragging about it. Yeah, that shit's funny, man. That shit's funny, whatever, I grabbed the popcorn, that's me. Yeah, and the drop yeah but calling ACS, that's some other bullshit, man. That shit could have went a whole different level. Cause the cops came and fucking sent you workers and all that bullshit. That shit could have went a whole different way if you catch somebody at the wrong time. And then somebody gets hurt or killed, then with then how you gonna feel about that? Especially Pellegrino. They, these motherfuckers don't know the significant shit that they do because they're a fucking coward. Yeah, man. It's, it gets fucking out of hand real quick. You remember back in the day with Tommy Two Watt and uh, Big Nasty Trucker out there? They, they fucking had the FBI at each other's houses, this, side, the other thing. It was insane. Yeah, that's, that's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. Look at Mo Dropper and Debo. Back and forth with the court. Somebody cut themselves, pretend like he got cut to get somebody locked up. Yeah, that's too extreme. Anyway, yo, 6.30, man. I got to get the fuck out of here. CK, everybody else out there, 6.31, I'm waving, I'm out. Right, Joe, no doubt with the wave there. That's what's up. See, that's what's up on the true history of Channel 19, man. For real. Chan, they was... Tan, I remember what Richie talked about RDX. What was that, Dan? Who's worldwide? Let me know. This is the truck drivers. Yeah, I used to just sit. I'm not worldwide driver. In 2012, I used to just come. It was hilarious. I don't know if you ever made it to the southbound. No. You gotta go have stuff on 95. Uh, just hang in there, they'll have that wreck cleared out there by the... Oh, cool. I ain't around here every morning. Oh, On fucking YouTube. Then after that, it, it went to a whole other level. And Richie know what I'm talking about. He can could, he could try to pretend, but Richie no real dick. Little pussy motherfucker. <laughs> Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Oh, damn it, boy. Let me know how that close bonds is. I'm ready to go eat. Oh, good morning. Yeah, the 225. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning.
how you feeling this morning? You got a little bit of trouble. Yeah, hey, I'm pretty good, man. I'm pretty good. You yourself? Cross the bridge. That's right, then. Let's keep it that way, man. Two more days. Two more days. Two more days. Oh, yeah. Don't wait. No, two more days. Oh, you can get to the toll. You ahead of me there. I ain't even get to the toll yet. Oh, damn it, boy. Yeah. I guess I'll let you know what's going on. Yeah, I appreciate you to do that. He's like, you need to change occupations, driver. You pay by the hours. I had a little snow over the bridge, but it caused Brown to do it, man. Are we there yet? Well, we're close to the point. Good morning, driver. Hey, you're welcome. Have a good day. Hey, two, two, five. Everybody here. Hey, back up. We got our last lane jumpers. Open the window. It's okay. I guess that two, two, five out here rabbit no more. Yeah, these people know, really know how to mess up a good thing now, don't they? Oh, oh. we got your watch over here in Jersey. We hear you out there, rabbit right 121. Good morning. Oh, one two one, you two two seven. I don't know about no rabbit there. One two one, but you two two seven with the lady right there. Two two seven, top of the morning, loud and proud. Yeah, rabbit out there. He was there when I queen shot making noise. Yeah, Roger, let me get out the way so you can run your body. Nah, I think he over there probably talking to Richie or something. Yeah. Some car stop. Where you got to go to, 121? Headed out there to Flushing over there beside the construction site over there. 10-4. Hey, who's in that B&B truck there? 10-4. Hey, you on that skip chow? You was on that skip chow yesterday? Uh, no, not yesterday. I, I go up there sometimes. Yeah. <laughs> they take a kitty from the baby. Jersey Devil and the Jersey Devil is back. Oh, well, I'm almost stoned. I'm like, you're Well, you go up there? Yo, Jersey Devil, 206, with the wave, my mom. Yo, come on, 121, you go up there? Come on. Um, you go up there? Man, just trying to get room. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yo, it gets so crazy over here. I, every time I get a chance to get skipped, I try to go in there. Roger. Bam, bam, bam. Yeah, it is a beautiful day. Hey, you want to get out front on the radio? 